LG are showing off what they claim to be the world's largest 3D home TV, 72 inches. Now that might be a little bit large for your living room, but if you're after something a bit more appropriate, there's still plenty more in LG's winter lineup. So over here you can see some of their latest LED TVs. Right in front of me is the LW570. It's actually called the LW57 in Europe, it will be the 570 in the UK. Going up to the top of the range is the LW980. What's interesting about that is it's got full rear LED backlighting. So with a model like this, the LEDs go along the top and along the bottom. With the LEDs all along the rear on the top of the top of the range LW980, you get much sharper contrast. So the blacks are much, much blacker, the whites are much lighter, and there's sharper contrast between the two. These are all 3D TVs. You'll notice I've got this pair of glasses on my hands. Now, these are LG's Cinema 3D glasses. They're small, they're light, they're cheap. And that's what LG is pushing with their home 3D experience. Whereas most of the other manufacturers are going for the expensive active shutter glasses, LG are going with the very cheap passive glasses, even for their most expensive models. And that LW980 doesn't come cheap. It's about 2,000 pounds worth of TV. So it's a real sign of what LG think is the appropriate home cinema experience in 3D. They want cheap glasses. You can share them with your family. You can get 10 pairs that will cost you next to nothing. So if you've got a lot of people watching it all at once, it's a nice, easy experience. So the sense of depth is pretty good actually, and that's backed up by our lab testing. When we put passive 3D TVs through our lab tests, we've generally found that the experience is pretty satisfying. If there is a downside to passive TV technology, it's that you don't get a full HD view in each of your eyes. You only get that with active shutter. But keep in mind, with active shutter 3D, you're looking at a pair of glasses that could cost anything from £50 to £100. And you don't even get a pair with the television in some cases. Now, showing their commitment to smart TV, every single one of these models is going to be uh, able to connect to the internet. So everything from the LW550 to the LW980 is able to connect to the internet. In the case of the LW980, it has built-in Wi-Fi. So you can use LG's range of widgets and apps for internet connection to news, YouTube, things like BBC iPlayer as well. At which we test all of the latest TVs and we put the latest models through our test labs every month. These new LG models are going to be coming out in September, so as soon as they're available, we'll get them down to the test lab and be sure to check on at which.co.uk for the full results.